wandering injured and alone on Brown Austin Road in Fairdale. I, I don't know, understand how anyone could hurt an animal like that. It was Wednesday when this two-year-old Jack Russell Terrier was found with an arrow going through his hip. The dog had been shot with an arrow approximately two feet long and was in a lot of pain. He later died shortly after at Jefferson Animal Hospitals. Our animals can't talk. So I'm their voice. That voice coming out of Justice for Arrow, a group that's banded together to make stricter laws in animal cruelty cases. Pamela Daniels leading the efforts. Currently, you can torture or kill a dog or a cat. And if you get caught at it and you're convicted or you plead guilty, whatever the case may be, it's a class A misdemeanor. No jail time. According to Kentucky law, that's just for the first offense. And then on top of that, there is no listing for an offender list of anyone that would hurt any dog or cat or torture it. Tia Barnes with Louisville Metro Animal Services says her agency has been combing through the area, interviewing neighbors and gathering leads. If we could prove criminal intent, that could be upgraded to torture, which is a felony. All in hopes to find the person responsible. A lot of our staff was there when the dog was brought in and witnessed what was going on. So that's weighing heavy on their hearts right now. If you have children, could you do that to your child? Because that's what you did to somebody's child their fur baby. Now tonight, there are two cash rewards being offered. Justice for Arrow is offering $800, while the Louisville Metro Animal Services is offering $500 for any information leading to an arrest. Reporting live, Trey Ward, WOKY News.